as a Christian, you know, people think that you know that you know God, that you know some people always have it, and they're you know we're always going to be on top of it, and you know and and you know, oh he's holier of hold, and uh, and that's not the case. You know the 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 whole thing is when you have a trial that comes your way, or when you have something that may try to make you set back, you know that your faith you know brings you through it, and God you know you rely on God to take you to another level, and that's what it you know that, that that's what um, this year has allowed me to do is have allow my faith to go to another level because you know sometimes you can get mundane in your walk you can get uh, you know you know you can just be kind of on this like it's flat line type of walk but sometimes you know God has to shake you up a little bit and allow you to lean on him and trust on him so you can grow and uh, to, this year was a, a year of growth for me and uh, and it's really great because like you know it's opened my eyes it's, it's, I'm more I'm more wiser now I'm, um, I'm more focused now and I'm more dedicated to doing the things you know uh, more than I was last year for my family and for you know for the things I need to do in, in my walk with God and I'm I'm just excited about it and I'm I'm looking forward to it finishing strong off the field is is is, is it's all about you know um, completion you know and a level of completion um, when you uh, have a task and you know uh, at the end of it you may be lack lackadaisical or you may not be able to you know end it with an exclamation point you know and uh, and that's what it's all about you know when you want to finish strong you want to make sure that you do everything efficiently and in a in a in a in a in a manner that is uh, is uh, on time with God and is on time with uh, everything that you know revolves in your schedule, so that you can move forward and get to the next thing that you know your the next mission that you have, you know. And uh, so it, it's it's uh, it's really good. The foundation of your faith. What is it? Where did this start? And how you know you know where, where did that all begin for you? I think it all began, you know, um, back when I was uh, you know. Um, um, raising Hammond and uh, my grandmother used to sit up in front of the uh, congregation and, and start to sing some hymns, man, and, uh, and with her and the other uh, deaconess, you know, um, when you starting off, you know, the old Baptist, the old Baptist way. And uh, so, you know, just that uh, alone, um, you know, uh, learning how to uh, worship, um, learning how to praise, and uh, which was, a, you know, a, a focal point, you know, now in my life where now it's, you know, meditating uh, more, uh, allows me to grow and get better. You know, my son always tell me, because he's a preacher's kid, and he says, God had to become real for me, not for my dad, not for my mom, not for my, God has to be real for me. When did God become real for you? I think uh, when you, when I, for me, it was when I started getting serious about it, when I actually had questions, you know, um, a lot of people try to say like, you know, uh, you might, you know, some, some people have their opinions that you don't question God. Well, you don't question God's, uh, you know, final answer. But to have questions about, you know, how to do these things and, you know, and, and what, what we got going on here, you know, those, those are questions that, you know, you have the right to ask. And uh, when you ask those questions and God gives you a defined answer, you know, sometimes you got to be careful what you ask for. But when you have these questions and, 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 and God gives them to you, like, you know, like I asked, you know, God to bless me and let me feel the, ho the Holy Spirit. And when I felt the Holy Spirit, I knew that was real, you know. And, you know, when I, when I wanted to know about Jesus, I asked God about it. And I was like, you know, let me know, you know, how, it, you know, how is it important for me to know about Jesus and why it's important for me to know about Jesus, you know, so that I can save my, you know, so my life can be saved, so my soul can be saved. And uh, for, for him to show me that, you know, and you, sometimes it may not be what you want at the time or you may think it might be something that uh, is in a, in a in a whole different league but you respect and you understand it once he gives you that answer and uh, for me when he gave me those answers that I was asking for um, it, it you know it definitely has uh, turned my faith into you know something that's blossoming more and more every day and you talked a little bit about adversity How, what would you encourage them to do get linked up with, to get connected with, that can help them with some of the adversity that they may be encountering. You know, this world is so, uh, is instant gratification now. Everybody wants everything right now. So when hard times come, you know, we so easily forget about the times when we were laughing and having a great time. The thing about it is that, you know, when adversity strikes, uh, for me in my entire life, you know, people have said, I couldn't do this. I couldn't be here. You were smart. How are you going to Tulane? You know, these things, you know, I've, I've, I've been able to 
to overcome these adversities because I understood that, you know, that's nothing but the enemy. You know, that's nothing but the devil trying to tell you that you can't do this or you can't do that. And your blessing is right around the corner. And, you know, so many people fall short of that because, you know, they allow somebody to tell them what they can't do and they go and they and they shy away from all the, the, the blessings and all the, the promises God has for them because they, they quit. They give up. Don't quit. Don't give up. Stay focused. Continue to drive harder because your blessings right around the corner because that is that is that is the point where we we're talking about earlier about completion and finish. Yeah, right when you're about to complete a task, it's gonna get it's gonna be right at the, the peak where it's the hardest, you know, where 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 it's gonna be the toughest and that's where you gotta continue to push through and drive harder because that is the moment that you get better. You're not gonna get better if you can't push through that hard part. And that hard part is the the part that's gonna make you better and get you to where you're trying to go. The first time you were here I interviewed you and you did a fabulous mm -hmm. job, you know, and so we have to do it again and keep it going again. Yeah. Is there a difference between the two? Well, you know, the difference is, uh, you know, uh, the city and a new stadium um, that I've never played in, and, it, and, it's, and it's, it's great, you know. Um, and, you know, I, I tell you what, you know, the one thing is, you know, when you, um, you know, trust in the Lord, trust in God, you know, you don't worry about what it is that you have to say, you know. You go and you let the Spirit speak for you, and, uh, and I just try to meditate on that and allow him to just be clear and use me as a vessel to do those things. Where were you when the light went on? You know, God's got to be literally the Lord of my life, not just a, you know, not just words, but a lifestyle. Well, you know, there was a play um, in in, um, in Louisiana in Bethany. Um, uh, Pastor Larry Stocksdale, he uh, he uh, had this play. Uh, it was a uh, Hell's Flames and Heaven's Gates, and to see that and to uh, understand the, the the reality of what where we are and the truthfulness and and uh, and how you should not play with God, you know, um, it really took me to a whole nother level. I was 12 years old and I went up there and I gave my life to Christ and I understood from then on, you know, that, uh, you know, that this was a, a great deal, but it was serious, you know, and uh, I'm really, I'm having fun with it. You familiar with Angola Prison? Yes, I am. Look but right have, in, look right into that lens and I give him a big shout out. Hey, how you doing out there in, in Angola, man? And I just, uh, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm from Louisiana, so, you know, I just uh, pray, pray for you and I'm praying that you uh, that you if you're with Christ that you continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand and if you have never uh, met Christ that you get to know him and that uh, when people come in and speak to you that you uh, you know that you give God a, a try and I tell you once you give him a try man you know your life will be changed forever and it'll be changed in a great way and you'll see doors and opportunities open for you that you've never seen before